With cryptocurrencies making a big impact in the mainstream financial world, more and more people are becoming interested in the crazy realm of blockchain. Many of these folks are attracted to cryptos because they have heard that they can get rich. If you're one of those folks, you're in luck because today I'm going to show you how to mine cryptocurrency and earn money in 2022. This video will explain cryptocurrency mining in good detail. Our goal is to explain the mining process in a simple way so that you can understand the role miners play in any given network. Then you can use the information to choose a cryptocurrency to mine and begin mining for profit. Hi folks, how are you? We hope you're having a fantastic day. This is the one and only Tech Factuala, reminding you to stay techie. In this channel, we bring you the most fantastic and most informative news about the world of technology and other electronic advancements and innovations that you should be updated on. We tell you about the world's most jaw-dropping smartphones, appliances, gadgets, and other related subjects. For this video, we will take you on a journey through crypto mining. Before that, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell. This way, you'll get updated on our future uploads. It would also be nice to give this video a like and share it with your friends. Without further ado, let's begin. In simple words, crypto mining is the process of a machine performing specific activities to obtain a small amount of cryptocurrency. This is the main process, but let's branch out a little bit. Suppose you have a cryptocurrency mining machine. Let's assume it's your own personal computer and you're trying to find out how to mine cryptocurrencies. Your computer would carry out specific tasks to collect even the slightest amounts of cryptocurrency. These tasks are referred to as proof of work. They are intended to establish a level playing field for all miners. Math equations are used in these tasks. The more miners want to mine a specific mining pool, the more complex the equations become. This balances the pool and encourages the use of larger and more powerful machines. While there are many more subtle aspects of play throughout the mining process, the main concept is that if your device contributes to the mining, you'll get a piece of the benefits. You can make money mining cryptocurrency without investing in expensive mining machines or putting together massive mining rigs only to increase your hashing power. The amount of computational power required to mine a new block of transactions and earn a block reward is measured in hash rate. It indicates how quickly a mining machine can work on a new coin solution. Every second, the machines create many guesses, each referred to as a hash. Your computer's or mining hardware's hash rate indicates how effective a CPU, GPU, or ASIC miner is at completing tasks. Finding a currency that allows you to mine via a mining pool is the best approach to make a big profit from mining. Then you will find a pool with the lowest fees, if any, and whose operations are in an area with the lowest electrical cost. This reduces the cost of power for your hash rate and you won't have to pay a percentage every time you earn a piece of the reward. That is a reasonably comprehensive and simple definition of cryptocurrency mining. So now let's get to the point of your trip here. How do you mine cryptocurrency? Different cryptocurrencies use different mining algorithms, which is also reflected in the mining hardware. Application-specific integrated circuits or ASIC miners are the best for Bitcoin and other select coins as they offer the highest power and are efficient. However, the cost is a key deterrent for new miners seeking to start operations. When choosing which coin to mine, the first step is to figure out how much the hardware will cost. While the most important mining component is hardware, you won't be able to achieve much without a sufficient power supply. More powerful devices are more profitable, which entails greater electricity costs and higher-end power supplies. 
you must also consider the cost of electricity, which will power both the mining machines and the sophisticated cooling system. Although ASICs may contain fans, you may need to install additional fans for better results, especially when assembling a mining setup. The easiest method to offset the additional costs is using low-cost electricity and employing the most efficient miners available. Now, let's start mining. But hold on, before continuing with our topic, what do you think of crypto mining for yourself? Let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Next comes crypto hardware and software. You're only a few steps away from mining cryptocurrency after you've set up the hardware. After that, you have to choose mining software compatible with your computer. If you're using Windows, you'll need to download a Windows compatible software miner, and the same goes for Linux and Mac. You might also mine coins using your Android phone, which requires mobile-friendly software. We've also mentioned the possibility of joining a mining pool. Choose one and then set up your mining software, connecting your hardware to the pool and network you want to mine on. Then start mining once you've set up your wallet, configured your software, and turned on your gear. Mining has gotten so complex that the best option for most users is to join a mining pool on most networks. Thanks to a mining service or a provider, many miners can pool their hardware power and mine cryptocurrencies as a single unit with a substantially higher hash rate. When looking to join a mining pool, the most important thing to remember is to pick one that will pay you for your work. The mining fees are one element to consider. The cost should be 1% on average. It is essential to pay attention to this since you want to save on increasing your earnings. Server location is also essential. When you choose a server close to you, you increase the chances of creating more valid blocks. In addition, if the servers are located in a country where electricity is cheap, you have an added advantage in cost reductions. In addition, the mining pool must be reliable. Pools that have been around for a while are usually dependable. If you want to join a new pool, do some research to see what other miners have said about it. Furthermore, you should think about the payout scheme. Some are based on luck, while others offer rewards. Finally, some come with great risks, but large rewards for their miners. In a nutshell, it is a personal choice. You should also think about the pool's uptime, minimum payment, and total hash power. There are many mining pools to choose from, with the best alternatives varying according to the coin you wish to mine. In this case, conduct some research on the coin in question to determine which pools are the best for it. What if you want to mine cryptocurrencies but don't want to buy or manage the hardware? The solution is to use cloud mining. A cloud mining service allows you to lease hash rate and mine for a fixed time. It relieves you of the burden of purchasing and operating mining machines with the added benefit of allowing you to mine any coin at a price that you are comfortable with. There are two options for cloud mining, free and paid. Naturally, many people looking for ways to mine cryptocurrency would gravitate towards the free option, but it does have its drawbacks. First, it has prolonged mining speeds with extra conditions. Paid cloud mining usually works like this. You find a cloud mining host online. Then you check out the plans that the host is offering, which commonly number four or five and range in price from the lowest to the most expensive. Some hosts even allow you to create and customize your own cloud mining plan. Once you've decided what you want, you complete the transaction by paying the host, registering your cryptocurrency wallet code, and that's how you start mining cryptocurrency. Different plans cost different amounts of money and are available for different durations. Standard plans, for example, might cost anything from $500 to $5,000 and last anywhere from two years to a lifetime. 
It's common to expect to break even after a half year to a year and then profit from there. No one can be certain though, because cryptocurrency prices are pretty volatile, often swaying by a significant amount. However, cloud mining has many flaws that you should be aware of before purchasing contracts. Scams are common in this industry, which is concerning. You will fall victim to them if you do not do your research. Some cloud miners may take advantage of your gullibility by paying you less than you're worth. Others may choose to end your contract. With that in mind, the top cloud mining services on the market to check out include Genesis Mining, Hashflare, NiceHash, and HashGains. Of course, you can also research the specific coin to find which cloud mining service is supported. Now you understand how to mine cryptocurrency. A few essential factors solely determine the crypto mining method that best suits you. Are you prepared to invest some money upfront? If so, how much will it cost? Do you want to be the owner of a rig? Do you even want to use a rig for it? These and other related questions can help you figure out which method of cryptocurrency mining is ideal for you. In general, Cloud mining appears to be a fantastic choice that people love. So if you don't want to deal with rigs or other types of hardware, cloud mining is your best option for cryptocurrency mining. But again, one thing you should remember to do right away is to create a cryptocurrency wallet. The most important part is to get a secure and trusted wallet when it comes to cryptocurrency mining. Imagine mining for a year and having all of your savings stolen because you didn't pay attention while choosing your wallet and chose a suspicious one that was hacked into. If you're serious about mining cryptocurrency, I recommend purchasing a hardware wallet, which is the safest and most reliable cryptocurrency wallet available. So that's the end of our crypto mining tutorial. We've discussed various concerns and looked into the unique cryptocurrency mining method. Remember that the method that best suits you will be solely determined by what you want and the resources you have, so choose wisely. I wish you the best of luck if you decide to pursue mining. So what do you think about crypto mining and what will be your method to make money? We hope that knowing more about the crypto mining world has sparked your interest. Have any questions or ideas? Don't hesitate to comment below. Now it's your turn. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell so you'll get updated for our future uploads about the wonders of the techie world. Again, this is the one and only Tech Factuala, and we will see you soon in our next video. Thanks for watching.